Just a quick overview of the LG Magic Remote model ANMR600G. We purchased this for our TV model 60UF7300. To do the initial pairing of the remote, turn off your TV, ensure the batteries are in properly in the remote control, turn on your TV with the remote control at the, with the top red button, wait 20 seconds, and then point the remote at the TV and press the center wheel, which is also the OK button. You should see on the TV it should flash pairing remote. If you ever need to deregister or unregister the remote, hold down and press the back arrow and the home button. Hold them both down at the same time for five seconds and you should see a message unpairing and then you could start the process again. Basically from the top down we'll go over some of the buttons. You have your power button, you have your source button here, your number buttons, and when you press your numbers you'll see, um, like if I press 2, up in the top left, you'll see it gives you all the channels that start with 2. You can see your channel list right here, and the info that appears at the top of the screen tells you all about what's currently playing is over here right under the 9. These two buttons, the plus and minus, are volume. These two over here are page up and down, order channel up and down. This is mute. This is your home button. Brings up that little icons down at the bottom of your screen, all your apps and your, your favorites. This is back. This is exit. And this is the OK button. This is left, right, up and down. Press this button for the guide. If you press this little button here, it looks like a little calculator. It brings up an on-screen number pad so it's an on-screen remote. If you have a 3D device or 3D show, you could press 3D. I don't have that. The gear icon, that's basically it. There's turn on subtitles. I'm going to undock my camera and show you a couple examples of how to use it. Okay, if I press the input button, On the TV, I get my list of live input, HDMI, and I would use my up and down wheel and then press OK to select. Now watch, I'm going to press a 2 on the channel button, and I want you to look up in the top left. It starts showing me all the channels that start with a 2. See that? Very nice. And again, I can use the... Let me do that again. Not fast enough on the draw, one hand. Press the 2, and then I can use this up or down and hit OK to select. If I'm in there by accident, I can hit back to get back to TV. There's my mute button, my home, watch what happens. Brings up all those icons at the bottom of the TV, and then I can use the circle around the wheel and I can go over to the left or right and I can press the center OK to select one of those apps. If I press the guide button, brings up my TV guide. Now look, all you have to do to make the pink mouse move is move your wrist. See, I'm moving around and press the center OK to select. I'm going to press exit. When I press this icon that looks like a calculator, there, it brings up a little keypad and I can use this and press the center wheel button to select. I'm going to press exit. Let me show you something on the screen. To bring the mouse up, all you do is shake the remote back and forth. Shake it back and forth in your hand, 
and you don't have to point it at the TV and that makes the pink mouse appear. Now watch what happens if I move it to the left. I can go up here to the guide or I can go to recommended channels. Now watch what happens if I move it up to the top. The information shows up on what channel. Tells me the channel, the call letters, and so forth. It'll give you whatever information is available. Now let's experiment with some of the speaker functions. This is probably the coolest part of the remote. So I'm going to speak. Now you're supposed to hold it like 20 centimeters from your mouth when you speak. That's about like approximately six inches or so. So basically they want you to hold it like you would a microphone. So you press the microphone button. When it says speaking now, I see it picked up my text, what I just said. So I'm going to press the microphone button. Watch 23. There's only one channel in the 23 range. Now watch this. Let me press exit to clear the screen. We press the microphone button again. Watch 48. I get some choices because there's four channels that start with 48. I could use the wheel or the, the ring around the wheel and then press the center wheel to select. Tells you the channel you're going to. And this will disappear in a minute or you can just press exit. I can press my microphone. Internet. Opens up the web browser. Very nice. My home page is Google so I can move my pink mouse, press the center wheel to anchor it. Now I can go here. Let me look up something. I'm going to press the microphone. Gladys Porter Zoo, Brownsville. And there's my voice, my voice recognition results. Select one. And then I can select it. Press the center wheel to select. Pressing the microphone button. I'm going to press the microphone button and search for some. Search for puppies. I get all types of movies about puppies. I'm going to press exit. Now I'm going to tell it to search the internet for puppies. Press the microphone button. Search the internet for puppies. And there's my browser search results for lots of puppies. That's basically it. You can experiment with voice commands. I hope this gets you started. Thank you.